Hello and uh, welcome to uh, another vlog today. Today is going to be a little different. Um, I've come here to uh, Duke of London uh, showroom. It's sort of a collective of some sort, a uh, hub for cars, uh, for car enthusiasts. Um, I saw that they have coffee uh, online. I haven't been in yet, so I've come in. Uh, just to have a wonder, have a look at the different cars they have, experience what the whole place is about. Um, it was very close to me, so I thought it was worth the trip. Um, grab a coffee and then, um, and then yeah, we'll see how it goes. But for now, let me just take you around. I've got my car parked up here, uh, looking rather nice. Uh, give it a quick rinse today, and uh, you've got a nice Bentley. I do love the Arnage. They've, um, I think they've aged really well, to be honest with you. Um, look really cool, especially in the black. Such a mafioso car. Um, yeah, so I cheekily parked next to it. I thought, yep, the black crew, two black cars, looking rather nice. Yep, I've taken some shots. So yeah, so we're gonna head inside. So uh, let me quickly show you uh, this car I've just come across. I actually saw the build of this online on YouTube. I can't remember the name of the, the guy who works on them, but he's a Defender guy and he worked on this car. And I remember seeing the details, absolutely incredible, really blew my mind. Some of the interior detail, let me just quickly show you. I love the color of the interior, really nice. Such nice details. I love the uh, stitching, the contrast stitching. The color of the interior, this tan leather, really nice. Um, I love the inserts as well. It's just like this um, sort of uh, weave, really nice with um, some of the suede. And I love the painted center console on the same exterior color. Really nice, went out of his way to make it that extra special. And I, I believe it's on sale uh, at Duke of London. I'm not really sure the price, but uh, really good work. And uh, I love the Safari tent pretty cool I do like it a quick insight into this great space I love it SLS this is um, a classic in my eyes for sure they're really gonna go up in price in not very long such a good looking car really there's so much right in this car front engine look at that bonnet so so long so low you're sat, you're sat right down i think it's perfect and then we walk in there what do you think about these cars there's so many different generations of this car and different variations they don't all look good but this one actually somehow looks nice i love the uh the front mesh grill and the silver it looks like a really good clean example some of them have aged well this looks like a a good clean one i love that with the retro sign you walk in i think this is the storage bit where they keep some customers cars so that's very cool i see a red porsche All right, let me creep in the back and see what else they have. I see a car I'm, I'm personally interested in, not this specific one, but the 944 Porsche. I think they're super cool. I never really paid much attention to them, but I've started seeing more of them recently on Instagram, and I just think they look fantastic, especially from the front. I love the back. I'm not a fan of the back, but we'll come to that. But look at the front. I think it looks super nice. Um, they did, I think, a 993 um, Turbo Edition with the flat nose, and I just, they're so, they're so good looking. Um, let me see. Yep, so I'm actually looking at getting one and uh, doing it up as a project. Um, now, let's come into the back, because I'm not a fan of the back, but this is where it's gonna get interesting, because I wanna, I'm currently looking at um, sort of a cheap example where I can do the modifications I want without sort of being too sensitive to the price, without having to care so much. 
Um, I actually, my plan, uh, I mean, it's a bit ambitious, but I actually want to modify the whole rear. I don't like this whole rear. It doesn't suit the front of the car. Um, so I want to do something about it. Uh, there'll be some break-ins, some, yeah, I won't personally be involved in doing that. I think that's um, a specialist jobs uh, work, but I think it can look really good. I love the front. That's what really gets me about the car is the front of the car. The back is really old, boring, and um, yeah, just not interesting at all. So, lovely. A nice defender in the back there. Oh, what's that? Interesting. Oh, look at that. That is lovely. How good does that look? I love. This is nice. You know, I do love a red car. They're very striking. I feel like, you know, I, I don't know if I'd be able to daily a, a, a red car. It's just too sort of in your face. But they are so good looking. As we come upstairs now. Mm, that's a really good view. But, so yeah, so let me quickly show you the space that we have. Um, that's a really good looking Ducati. Am I saying too many good looking? <laughs> This is the jack and the roller. So yeah, very cool space. Another 994 Sports Edition. So yeah, so you see what I like about the front? I think it's just aged so well. Very cool. Nice. Nice, beautiful Ferrari. Not too into vintage Ferraris except for the 250 short wheelbase. Citroen, always a classic. These ones had uh, apparently like the best suspensions ever, hydraulically um, actuated suspensions. So super comfortable. I believe uh, this is the 964. Uh, Porsche. I'm not a fan of the 964. It was never a nice shape to me in the 911 range. So, yep. Mm. Classic Mini. Always. Another beautiful green. It's not a Verde green. The Verde is much darker. I don't know what color this is. And then a prop defender. Whew. That is big. Hi, how you doing? You're right. just like that we are out i hope you guys enjoyed today's uh different episode um yeah like i said it's a really cool space they're not fully finished yet so they're still working out some kinks as you saw they're not fully operational i thought it was worth going out uh, there and checking them uh there was a couple of cars i was looking uh, at potentially getting uh they have on their books so uh so yeah so the 994 is a potential, not the one that you saw in the video, but another one that they might be getting. 
um so yeah keep an eye out on this channel please subscribe and comment let me know what you guys want to see and um also in the next episode i'm going to be doing some changes to the rear of this car i think i spoke to you i spoke about it in one of the previous episodes so i won't go into too much detail right now i'll keep it a semi surprise even though I did say it previously. Um, yeah, as this car is certified by Porsche as a classic now, there's a few touches I want to do and change about the appearance of the back uh, just to keep it fresh, uh, keep it a little different. Uh, yeah, so I think it'll be cool. We'll see. Uh, so I think that's what I'll be doing in the next episode, if not uploading uh, the PCM video that didn't go potentially as planned but yeah so i'd like to do some modifications to the rear and then take it from uh, there so um do subscribe comment and let me know what you guys think and i'll see you in the next one